Now that we're past the watershed, we can turn to the behaviour of the Parliamentary Conservative Party. Please note that the following report does contain descriptions of a sexual nature involving MPs. Children and those of a more delicate disposition should switch over now. Perhaps watch something less traumatic, like Chernobyl. Yes, that's right. We're talking about Deputy Chief Whip and winner of this year's Mr. Nominative Determinism, Chris Pincher, who narrowly beat out Jonathan Bigot, Archie Takes Bungs and James Cleverly to the title. He's resigned from his post after getting very drunk and allegedly groping two men at the Carlton Club, an establishment that only admitted women members in 2008 and whose dress code includes no jeans-style trousers or their close relations, but makes no reference to wandering hands. Pincher is, of course, not the first Tory MP to be accused of sexual impropriety. The recent by-elections in Wakefield and Tiverton and Honiton were triggered by one MP being convicted of sexual assault and the other watching pornography in the House of Commons. These were just a couple of bad apples, and you know the saying, two bad apples tells you nothing about the moral character of the other apples in the barrel. Just my mistress. I mean, the opposition have demanded that Pincher have the whip removed, which is thankfully less exciting than it sounds, and the Prime Minister is being urged to act once somebody has explained to him why groping is wrong. All of which begs the question, why does this party, led by a serial adulterer with an indeterminate number of children, whose initials seem to match his favourite office relaxation activity, seem so morally bankrupt? Well, you know what they say, a fish rots from the middle. Oh god, another wrong one. It really is a mystery. Back to the studio. Thank you. Next up, as the US Supreme Court announces a series of extremely right-wing rulings, we debate whether an anti-democratic institution with lifetime appointments is really fit for purpose in the modern world, whilst trying not to mention the monarchy or the House of Lords.